Hey everyone, just going to do another video for you here tonight. Uh, tonight we have here is a 8 pill with a built in 200 amp power supply. As you can see how big the case is, this guy probably weighs a good about 80 pounds. All six fans keep the rectifiers, transformers, and the transistors cool. And this is something that we kind of did per the customer's request. And actually, I thought it was pretty neat. What we did, you see these ports right here? That right here is the external use of the, the internal power supply. You have the positive and the negative here. And of course, uh, for his request, uh, I put a little warning label on there, basically saying, do not hook your radio up to that. <laughs> Now, these right here will exceed about 20 volts on the floating side, so um, when current is drawn and when you have this thing keyed up and transmit, um, the voltage will drop from, it'll probably start at about 21, 22 volts and uh, go down to maybe around 16 or so, depending on how hard you actually drive it. Now, this 8 pill right here, uh, the ideal driver is a 2 pill. Um, a two pill or somewhere around 250, 300 watts. You really don't need all that, but she will take it and she will produce more watts. But I like to be easy with my equipment and cruise it at 200 watts, and you should have no problem with it. But tonight, um, we're using an internal driver here, which is a uh, one of our destroyer two pills. And this is a uh, two twenty eight seventy nine model. And we're going to go ahead and drive it with the internal, the 8 pill here. Okay, and what we went ahead and done is um, we have the 2 pill actually hooked up to its own power supply. So, you know, for you uh, base grooves out there, you know, no need to purchase uh, any other batteries or other power supplies just to power your driver because some guys will have one driver on a separate power supply and the final box on the other power supply. Alright, now it's kind of dark over here. This guy barely fits on our bench. Alright, let's go ahead and flip her on there. Now, she has a uh, digital LED voltmeter that's going to be reading the current. And uh, as you see, the um, the more current we're going to pull off this guy, the uh, you'll see it to start to drop down around uh, the 16 volts or so. And pretty much this guy has all the bells and whistles on it. Here we have sideband. And here we have your preamp. Basically the amplifier for your receive. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and give her a little test run here. We're going to be using a single final unit in Washington. It does about 30 watts on output. Nothing crazy. All right, we're going to go to our uh, LP100 here. All right, let's give a quick little test run here, see what she does. Oh, uh, yeah. Check, check, check. Break up. Break up, break up. There we go. So we have the uh, SWR alarm here set at 1.4. Kind of picky around here. We just want to make sure everything does, but it's raining outside, so it's... Uh, so we're getting a little tiny more reflect than we would like, but... Oh uh, yeah, checking the mail, break up, break up. It's about 1900 right there. It's about 1900. So not bad. Little two pill driver here. And this is all off on uh, 120. So this is a straight plug in the wall. I wouldn't recommend going any bigger than this. But if you guys had any questions or uh, 
thinking of a custom box on down the road, feel free to drop us an email at destroyeramps at AOL.com. You can also reach us here on our website at destroyeramps.com. Hope you guys enjoyed. 73rds.